Okay, so this is the Moyu Weiwog WRM 2021. So this is one of Moyu's newest releases, and it's surprisingly a very, very good cube. Um, as you can see, there is adjustable magnets on the inner layer, and on the top layer there isn't adjustable magnets. But if you adjust these magnets to the highest setting, it is very, very strong. Trust me, I've tried it before. Um, so it's also got the tension strength, and if I can just get this thing off... 2,000 years later. It has a thing to make sure that it doesn't pop out during the sole. Um, so it has the usual um, um, spring setting where you can just get this and turn it with your nail. Um, I have to because I was that stupid that when I got the cube I literally threw out the thing that would turn it but when you get the cube you would usually get an accessory that you would put in here and you would be able to twist um so if you take this cube apart you will be able to see all the magnets so it's got magnets deep in here and the magnets inside of this piece they're very very strong so um yeah um so the ideal magnet strength for me is um the magnet strength being on two um, but it's up to you, like, you could have magnet strength on 5, but if you have it on 5, it'll basically be like a non-magnetic cube, like, non-magnetics, they're, they're just so different from the magnetics, and, but yeah, you, um, if you have it on, um, 1, it'll be a bit hard to turn the cube, but it'll always line up, and you have it on number 2, it's fast, it's easy to turn, and they will all the time just line up. Um, so the colours on this are very different to other cubes, so it's a bit brighter, especially with the white insides. Most cubes these days have the two colours, but this one just has the white insides, so it makes it, it, it stands out a bit more. So the oranges are about the same, yellows... From your perspective, it might not be different, but from mine, it's very different. The blues, um, the Moyu, the Waylong 2021, the blues are a bit brighter for me, but it might be the exact same on your end. And the reds, yeah, this one's definitely brighter. Like this, this one is so, it's way way darker. But um, yeah, I can show you a few solves. So in three. Two, one. But yeah, turning is very, very smooth. Um, it's a great cube for beginners. If you're just starting out cubing, you would first of all learn how to solve a cube. And then you would start getting all the cubes. 
but this is very very ideal for a, um, a first magnetic key and then I've just gotten this and my PB literally dropped five seconds in the first like a hundred solves me using this but yeah it's really really good um, I would recommend it to anyone um, and yeah you can get it on daily puzzles you can get it on speed cube shop they're obviously not sponsoring me um, but you can also get it on cubicle you can get it on anything not anything, most cubing websites or sites just have this cube. Um, it's really, really ideal. You can adjust the magnets with this sword kind of thing that comes in the packet. So basically all you need to do is take one out and you can put it into these little slot thingies. And what you do is you just turn it. So it's a bit hard at first. And it'll make a big click and it gets back to the start. There we go. So there's the big click and it makes a big, big click when it gets back to number one. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. Um, but it comes in four because as you can see, I've literally just used this once. And it's already starting to wear off and bend. Um, I think that's why it comes in four. I don't know, but... The only cool thing that is, is that it just looks like a sword from this angle. Um, but yeah, this cube, it's very, very good. Um, as I said earlier, I would recommend it to anyone. Um, especially if you're new to speed cubing. Um, I definitely would not recommend going out and buying a timer straight away. As that was my mistake. I got straight into speed cubing, I got a time under a minute. And I spent over $60.00 on this timer that is completely ir um, irrelevant that you can literally just get the same thing off the um, internet um, but if you're really willing to go for this um, I would say now buy one of the GAN cubes maybe um, GAN 11 and Pro but it's a very 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 um, pricey there will be a GAN 11M um, review soon and then soon after that there will be the um, GAN 3.6 5, um, 5, 6, sorry, and then the GAN 11 and Pro a bit later, but in the middle of that, there'll be all these other cube reviews, including 4x4, Pyraminx, and 2x2, two two, and much more, there'll be 5x5, five 6x6s, five, six six, I just can't grab them right now, because I don't currently have them with me, but yeah, this cube, it's very, very awesome, um, I've done over 250 solves of it. It's still perfect. It's great. It's in great condition, but it doesn't come um, lubed. So you'll have to buy a lube and you'll have to um, lube it yourself. If you don't know how to lube a cube, I would suggest going on to a tutorial of how to lube a cube. Um, I personally learned off JPerm, but um, yeah, that's about it. So if you're interested in this cube, um, you can go look at Daily Puzzles, which is where I bought mine since I'm an Aussie. Um, you can go look at Speed Cube Shop, you can look at Cubicle, you can look at, look at basically anything and just search up this. But it's not going to be everywhere. It's just going to be in most places. So don't get upset if you don't find it on your favourite cubing website. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoy this review and there'll be more coming out um, soon. Um... So, I think that's about it. See ya.